What happened two years wow. ago on the day? The course of Penguin's history changed forever. <laughs> course of Hagelin history changed forever. Because hockey is a business, we often have to say goodbye to some of our favorite people. Oh, there's that being good again! When you lose players like Dupuy and Fleury, Benino, you're sad for so many reasons. Those guys really had the personalities in the show. But then you get new ones. As you guys probably know, Revo and Colby got traded during the game. Looking back, it was a heartfelt and you know, bittersweet situation for sure. The response from the boys was great. Sid came to my room for like an hour and just like talked before the game. Basically like took the option on his pregame nap just to come hang out and all the guys came over to say bye. It was a really great bond we had on that team. Pittsburgh Penguins have made a coaching change. This team has more to give. When you change your head coach in the middle of a season, it's such a big shakeup. You basically always have the cameras running for a few days. The last game, we turned the puck over eight times between the blue lines in the first period. Eight times. When Mike Sullivan was hired, we had to make sure that we were covering our bases on that. We'll just go through our rotations and see if we can't have an energetic practice. Here we go. It caused a crazy fiasco in the structure of our show that was 90% complete at the time. Go hard, horny! Literally tearing everything apart and putting it back together. That's it. Good job. Andrew and myself stayed at the arena to get that episode done for three straight nights. How's the show? I was greasy, but it had to get done. There's so many people that will pop into your mind when you think of the Pittsburgh Penguins. So it's kind of ironic that the face of the franchise for some of these guys is the in the room crew. There have been situations where the camera crew is first to meet these players face to face. I specifically remember meeting Carl Haglin. He's pulling his sticks out of the oversized baggage. We got cameras, there's just people everywhere give a quick introduction and then off we go. Obviously playing a lot of playoff series against the Penguins has made me spend a little bit more time in this city compared to other cities, but you know, I have a good impression and hopefully it's just gonna get better. A memorable one was when we acquired Jared McCann and Nick Bukestad from Florida. These guys are gonna arrive about 5.30 p.m. We needed them to play at seven o'clock that night. They're en route right now, and our hope is, is that uh, they're gonna get here on time to play. I remember triple checking, like, they're actually supposed to play tonight. We're getting dressed to go for a warm up, and they're like, yeah, they're on the way, they're gonna play. And I'm like, I don't see how this is gonna happen. So the guys hop off the plane. Jason's grabbing their hockey gear. I'm filming everything. Can't make this shit up, man. <laughs> We're gonna walk in with our Florida Panther bags about 10 minutes before the game here and see how it goes, I guess. We get to the rink. I'm filming and directing traffic. Take a left, take a left, take a left. Keep going here. Keep going, keep going. It was just a wild situation. I felt bad for them. It's not like we had a couple guys wait to fill in like they had to play. It's a great story. We had a great laugh over it. it kind of broke the ice.